is Mike Thomas, and I am part of the Sharf Aero Car Project. Roy Sharf and I have been friends for many years since high school, and we share a common interest of aviation and flight simulation. And we realized very quickly that uh, we wanted to design something that could make an impact in the world of aviation and could open the door for people to travel in a way that they never have traveled before. All right, well, my name is Roy Scharf, and I'm doing the lead design work on the aero car project that we're working on. So my family and I took a vacation to Walt Disney World a couple years ago. And uh, like everybody else, we bought four airline tickets, flew from Pittsburgh to Orlando, spent roughly $1,500 between traveling to the airport, parking, tolls, and the actual cost of flying. We had a great trip, but can you imagine taking the aero car in its place? We can load uh, our family of four in our baggage, pull out of our garage, drive a mile down the road to the airport, and fly for less than a couple hundred dollars in cost round trip. What originally got me interested in aviation or aerospace in general was actually in high school. One of our classes had a, a real, it was a real rudimentary flight simulator and I wanted to fly the Learjet that was on there because they had maybe a little Cessna and I thought the Learjet was just the cool thing to fly. Uh, but I was one of the only ones that was able to land it. And uh, my background is essentially, I was originally in aerospace engineering at the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. My role in the project is to take the Sharp Aero Car through the venture capital process and take it to the marketplace. Our goal is to build a prototype of the Sharp Aero Car for the purpose of testing and licensing it. When we do that, we intend to have a one year public relations tour taking the car to uh, different aeronautical events, air shows, touring the country and the globe, showing folks the reality of owning a flying car affordably. It makes it takes the idea of the flying car, which has been around for a while, they've been developed just not really marketed very heavy and makes it more practical for the average person and makes it basically more marketable essentially. Some of the key features of the Sharf Aero Car are the fact that it runs on everyday diesel fuel that can be bought at any gas station anywhere around the world. A family can fold up the wings, hit the highway, take it down to a gas station, fill up the tank and be off on their journey. It's a diesel engine but in the aviation industry diesel engine basically means it can run on diesel. It's actually certified for Jet A or basic jet fuel which is available worldwide. Even in bad weather, the Sharp Aero Car can be driven legally on the highway. It's road legal, can be driven at highway speeds, and it's just as safe as a regular automobile. We estimate that the Sharp Aero Car on the road can achieve at least 25 miles a gallon, possibly as many as 40 miles per gallon. Nonetheless, it still will perform with the best full-size SUV out there. Fully loaded, the Sharf Aero Car can achieve 23 miles per gallon and cruise at a speed of 130 knots through the air. Picture taking an average SUV's gas mileage on the highway at 65 miles an hour, taking the same payload and flying at twice the speed in a direct line without the risks of highway traffic. Roy and I are both from Franklin, Pennsylvania, which is on the western part of the state. One of the most exciting things about this project is the prospect that once we start booking orders for the Sharf Aero Car, it can be built and produced right here in our hometown, flown out of Venango Regional Airport and built by the folks that live in Venango County. The project has the potential to create dozens if not hundreds of eventual jobs, adding to the local industrial base and creating uh, opportunities for folks that don't already have them. We're building this project for you. If you love travel and you want to see the next step, and travel for everyday people around the world. We're asking for your support for the Sharf Aero Car. Roy, what will it take to get the Sharf Aero Car airborne? With the parts and the engine being the most expensive part, uh, we're estimating that roughly a quarter million dollars can get this built and off the ground. So for only $250,000, this project can go from the computer screen and the simulated skies to the real skies, and the first Sharf Aero Car prototype will fly and who knows, it could be the first step for a major revolution in air travel. I think it will be.